Oi, tudo bem? This is Luciana from Street Smart Brazil. At this time of the year, whenever I ask friends and family in Brazil how things are going, they answer, it's an oven over here. Oh yes, it's summertime in Brazil. It certainly feels like you are in an oven. So in this video lesson, I will show you how to talk about very hot weather like a Brazilian. Tá um forno. So this is the phrase. Tá um forno. Literally, it means it's an oven. Of course, what it means is that, is that it's really, really hot. I'm putting the tá in italics because it's a short form for the verb estar in the present conjugation, third person. In spoken Brazilian Portuguese, we tend to drop the first syllable of the verb estar, and we do that in other conjugations, not just the present tense. Um, we also do that in personal informal written communications, such as Facebook and text messages, but I would not do that in business communications. You can use the expression um forno in other verb tenses, not only in the present tense. Let me show you examples using the phrase. All the examples are on the blog post. The translations are also on the blog post, so I recommend you follow along with the blog post. You will find the link to the blog in the video description or clicking the I on the right top corner of the screen. So here I am saying, Oi mãe, como vão as coisas? Oi mãe, como vão as coisas? E, and my mom responds, Tá um forno aqui. Você não tem ideia. Tá um forno aqui. Você não tem ideia. Márcia says, E aí, gostou de São Luís? So the trick for this first little part is putting it all together. E aí? E aí? I'll read the whole sentence again. E aí, gostou de São Luís? Amei, mas estava um forno lá. Amei, mas estava um forno lá. Como é o clima no Brasil em fevereiro? Como é o clima no Brasil em fevereiro? É um forno. Se prepare. É um forno. Se prepare. I have a different lesson in which I teach how to say I'm melting in Portuguese. I didn't make a video for that lesson, so I'm including the pronunciation of melting in this video. Visit the original lesson to learn how to use the phrase in two different situations. You will find a link to this other lesson in the video description and in the right top corner of the screen. So in this expression, the verb is derreter, to melt. This is the infinitive form of the verb. And what you need to pay attention here is that in Portuguese, the double R in Brazil sounds like an age in English. So, derreter, derreter. In the expression I am melting, the ing form is derretendo, derretendo. And I do have a lesson on the ING form in Portuguese, so you can find the link also in the video description and on the top right of the screen. Book a trial lesson with one of our instructors to practice and to advance your Portuguese. Just imagine how nice it will feel to speak Portuguese confidently. Our Portuguese lessons via Skype are a simple, convenient and effective way to learn Portuguese with very well-prepared instructors. Book a trial lesson to check for yourself. Thank you so much for watching this lesson. Ciao, ciao!